Hello everybody, today I am messing with UART and uh, TTY and things like that. In the last video I reviewed my Raspberry Pi setup, so please check out that video as well. So I've got my Arduino board right here, and I've turned it into a USB to TTY uh, cable, once you plug this in. So to create that, it's very simple. You uh, have to first connect from ground to reset. That's this black wire. It's connecting from ground to reset. And then you have your RX and TX over here, which TX is output, RX is input. And once you connect to reset to ground, it will make it uh, bypass its normal TX and RX output and make it so that whatever is connected to the TX and RX will be used and displayed through the USB with a program. So the next uh, thing I have set up, the orange is connected to 5 volt VCC. The black is connected to ground. So I've got a breadboard over here. Uh, remember that orange is TX and black is RX. I've got a... and then I have the um, ground with ground connected to blue, negative, orange connected to positive. So VCC and ground. Next thing, I have a Raspberry Pi and I've soldered these connections onto this device. You've got VCC on this one and then you skip over one. You've got ground and then TX and RX. So what you can do is connect the RX and TX onto the Arduino USB to TTY. And keep in mind you don't need any code on the Arduino to make this work. It bypasses this chip. You don't need the chip at all actually. You could take this out and it would still work. So we've got the blue wire right here, which is RX. So the black is RX on the Arduino. So I'm connecting that onto the black. And then we've got the TX. This is another blue wire. It's the TX connecting to the orange wire. And then we've got the ground wire. We can connect that onto the ground on the breadboard and then this um, VCC is optional because um, you can either power your device uh, with a USB or you can power the device through the cable I'm going to power the device through the cable so I'm going to plug VCC into the positive on the breadboard so now we should be all set up. So now what we need to do is plug in this cable into the Arduino. And you can see that the device is now powered, the Raspberry Pi. And then I've got it connected over to my laptop. And then there is a, an uh, application for Linux called screen you can also do the same thing on on Windows it's just a different program so I'm typing in screen to slash dev slash TTY USB that's the mount location of the uh, Arduino and the Arduino is a UART device by default and that is what makes this USB to UART possible and it's also, I'm also passing in the uh, rate, the transfer rate, and once you press enter, you can't see anything right now. Okay, so this is 
inside of the Raspberry Pi, I'm going to press the reset button on the Raspberry Pi so we can see all the uh, boot up logs. So I just pressed reset and here you can see it's booting up Linux and now you can see it has fully booted up I'm going to log into the Raspberry Pi and here you can see that I'm in the command prompt for the Raspberry Pi and what makes this possible is the RX and TX the TX is what displays everything and the RX is for input. Uh, the good thing about using this Arduino is uh, because it has an RX and TX light. I'm going to type in text through the prompt and you can see that the RX and TX is blinking. If I try to cat out a big file you should only see the TX blinking. So I'm going to cut out some random file and here you can see that it is only the TX that is lighting up. And here I'm pressing Control C to stop and you can see that it's both stopped. So there there you have it. This is UART connected to the Raspberry Pi. And you can use a uh, just any USB to TTY cable, but in this case, I just created my own. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe.